Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukakadash, Barakatala means bless you, Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. Barakatala means bless you, Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. Bashim Rukakadash in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule well and who has taught us this truth. All right, Shalom wa Barakim. All right, peace and blessings to the elect. All right, to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is um Isaiah chapter 61. And I'm going to start at verse 1. The spirit of the Lord power is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Okay. So <clears throat> that's what we do, okay? All right. The Lord has put the Spirit, starting with Apostle Tar on down, all right, to go out and uh and preach good tidings unto the meek. And who are the meek? The meek is the nation of Israel, okay? You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? You go back to the tribe of Judah, all the way down to the tribe of Issachar, all right? And you guys are the meek. All right, because the scriptures say what? The meek shall inherit the earth. And what does the scriptures also say? It says Jacob is the end of the world. Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? So Jacob's the meek, and they're about to inherit the earth. All right? And that's the good tidings. That's the good news in which we preach unto our nation. Okay? It says, He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Okay? Because the nation of Israel, we've been in captivity. All right, in America for over 400 years. All right, both Judah and Ephraim. All right, northern and southern kingdom, southern and northern kingdom. Okay, but the Lord is coming back to redeem us. All right, He's going to take our enemies, He's going to, he's going to put them under His foot. All right, He's going to allow us to rule over our oppressors. Okay, verse 2 it says, To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. Okay. Because we're in a state of mourning. The nation of Israel is in a state of mourning right now. Okay? But the Lord is comforting us. Okay? By his, by way of his prophets. Okay? By way of these holy scriptures. We're being comforted. Okay? And the Lord is coming back to, to, to uh, vengeance. He's coming back for vengeance. He's coming back for blood. Okay? He's coming back to destroy the nations. All right? For all the wickedness that they have committed against the nation of Israel. All right, <clears throat> this is um, continuing in Isaiah um, 63. This is Isaiah 63 and 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed just come. Okay, so vengeance is burning in the heart of our Lord, Yahweh Bashin Yahshai, to what? Recompense, which means to pay back. All right, these, these other nations, these heathen, are right, for putting their hands on the apple of the Lord's eye. Okay, which is his people. Okay, and it says in the year of my redeem has come, the Lord is about to redeem the nation of Israel. Okay, the elect out of the nation of Israel, they're about to be redeemed. They're about to be uh, taken out of captivity and they're going to be set in their own land at rest, a place where milk and honey dwells. Okay, which means prosperity. All right, they're going to be <clears throat> in their blessing. Zechariah chapter 2, verse 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you touches the apple of his eye. So the these other nations, the one of the biggest mistakes they ever made, all right, was touching the apple of the most high's eye. All right, which is his heritage, which is Shalakia, the nation of Israel. Okay? So the Lord is gonna recompense, he's gonna take vengeance upon these heathens for doing such. All right. This is the book of uh, Joel, chapter 3. I'm going to read verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So this is the time when the Lord is about to bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. All right, he's about to deliver the elect uh, out of the nation of Israel. Okay, It says, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. So simultaneously as the Lord is delivering the elect, okay, he's going to gather the other nations, 
or he's going to put them in the valley of Jehoshaphat. In the Hebrew, that's Yahweh Shapat, which means the Heavenly Father's judgment. It says, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Okay, so the Lord is going to plead with these other nations, okay, all right, for his people, Israel, his heritage, Israel. All right, and how is the Lord going to plead with these other nations, okay, in the valley of Jehoshaphat? All right, this is Isaiah chapter 66 and 15. It says, for behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the Lord is going to plead with these other nations by devouring them with the fire of his jealousy. OK, for what his heritage, Israel, for them touching the apple of the most High's eye. These other nations got a huge tab they had to pay, a huge bill. OK. All right, now this is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 1. Come near ye nations to hear, and hearken ye people. Let the earth and all that is in the, that all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. So this is a message to the to the to the nations, all right, which is all the nations outside the nation of Israel, heathens, starting with the so-called white race, which is the Edomite race, all right. But all nations, Moabites. Japhites outside of the nation of Israel, they're about to be recompensed. They're about to be judged by the wrath of the heavenly father. Okay. This is verse two. It says for the indignation, indignation means righteous anger. All right. It says for the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He had delivered them to the slaughter. So the Lord, his, his righteous anger is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. All right, he's, he's going to destroy them. All right, he's delivered them to the slaughter. Okay. Their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falls off from the vine and as falling fig from the fig tree. So the Lord is going to destroy them by way of nuclear destruction. Thermonuclear destruction, okay? All right, now this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3. We'll read the eighth verse. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So the Lord told us to wait wait upon him, wait for him. Because what? His determination is to gather the nations. All right. How is he gathering them? He's bringing them to the valley of Jehoshaphat, okay, the Middle East. Okay. It says to what? Pour upon them his indignation, even all his fierce anger. All right. What is his fierce anger? What is his indignation? That's that thermonuclear missile. And that's the, that's the fire from those holy chariots, the host of heaven. When the Lord comes, all right, it says, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So the Lord is jealous over what? His woman. OK, his woman was was ravished or, or taken by these other nations. So the heavenly father is going to kill these other nations for touching his woman by way of fire. OK. And that's the hope. That's what we're hoping for. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, okay? The Heavenly Father has never dealt with these other nations, okay? These other nations um, thought that they, they were going to take our place or something, okay? But the Heavenly Father is laughing at them, okay? This is Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So the Lord is going to choose you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, okay? So the Israelite foreigners, are right, they're going to cleave to the nation of Israel, all right, when the Lord sets us in our own land, okay? Because we're going to be delivered out of America, and we're going to be placed back into our rightful land, which is Israel. Verse 2, it says, and the people shall take them, and, the, and this is talking about the heathen, and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. So we're going to take the heathens, and they're going to be our slaves in the kingdom of heaven. All right, we're going to possess them for servants and handmaids. So 
are women. They're going to take the other women of the nations. They're going to be their handmaids. They're going to do all their tedious work. All right. And the men, they're going to be our servants. They're going to they're going to build. All right. Our our palaces or our, our goodly things with their bare hands. All right. It says, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. OK, the Lord's going to allow us to rule over our oppressors very soon. This is the blessed hope. This is the good tidings. All right. It says, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop right there. All right. I'm going to go to um, Jeremiah 30. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 30. All right. In verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will, give, will I give for a prey. So we're going to be the head come, coming up, all right? We're going to be ruling over these other nations, destroying them. They're going to become our prey, all right? And this is the blessed hope of the nation of Israel. That's why it says this is the patience and the faith of the saints, all right? He that leads in captivity must go into captivity, all right? He that killed the sword must be killed with the sword, so... This is what we're patiently and faithfully waiting for. We're waiting for our Lord, and we're calling upon our Lord to swiftly judge the other nations, all right, for the wickedness that they have done unto the nation of Israel, your chosen people, O Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai, all right? Verse 17, it says, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Okay, the Lord's going to heal us, all right? He's going to... Deliver us from this low estate and set us up as kings, all right, and make us beautify. It says the scripture says he's going to beautify the meek with salvation, all right. Verse eighteen: Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the, thy captivity of Jacob's tents, and have mercy on his dwelling places, and the city shall be builded up upon her own heap, and the pl and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof, and out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. So the Lord is about to glorify the nation of Israel, about to bless the nation of Israel, all right, and deliver us from this captivity, okay? And we're going to rule over our oppressors, and the Lord is about to take out his anger upon these other nations, okay? So Lord one, this is an edifying video. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashin, Yahweh, Shai, Bashin, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great Muslim will rule well. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.